Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're gonna talk about NCAA basketball coming back to console, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, as like up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your noted game for my daily uploads. Without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Okay, so, with NCAA football coming out in a couple of weeks, it is easily, brought up most of the time in my comment sections just in conversations with my friends IRL about yo the potential of college basketball coming back to console okay so I have a couple options here that I think are really highly educated guesses that um will lead me to believe that the possibility of a college basketball game coming out is really going to be dependent on how well NCAA football does how that works with NIL deals how um you know all that comes comes into play OK, but even if NCAA football does great, remember football, college football is the number one sport. It's even better, higher rated than NFL. So college football is the number one rated sport in America. Right. But college basketball is not that far behind. Um, we love college basketball, but I wanted to go ahead and break down between 2K and yes, EA. Those are the two. Now, again, 2K8 was the last game that came out. If y'all don't remember 2K8, man, I remember that, man. That's when Greg Oden was on the front cover. Hell of a basketball game. And I'll be honest with you, if I had to choose between playing professional video games or playing collegiate video games, I, I pick collegiate all day. For some reason, and everybody can relate, NCAA football was is better than Madden. It was, so we'll see how it is. And then the 2K college sports, to me, it was it was more fun than NBA Live and 2K, right? When 2K made, you know, um, College Hoops 2K8, I played the hell out of that thing. I love the recruiting process. I just love the college atmosphere. I just loved it all, okay? So at the end of the day, I feel like it's gonna come down to between those two. But I wanna break down a few things before um, between both sides, and then I'm gonna let y'all be the ones discussing in the comment section. Y'all let me know, okay? So first, we're gonna start off with 2K. Now, the thing about 2K is that we've already seen college teams in 2K. We saw that um, last year, where that was part of the My Career Journey. You can go into college, you can pick between like 15 teams or something like that. And during that process, you were playing against, you know, th these players weren't real. All right, so they were just basically the teams that you that, that I'm pretty sure 2K just paid for the licenses for those couple college teams that have in the game. But what they could do now is they can grow from that and keep make it a sub. Now again, these are options. Not trying to say this is going to be um 100 going to be the how it's going to be in the game or if, if this is going to be true or not. What I'm saying is is that they could build off that just like they do with the W. Okay, with the W, they can have something like a small section where it's just a handful of teams with the players' names and likeness and that type of deal. And just like they do with the W, you see it's a selection like you have like my eras, you then you can just do like college, right? Now, the reason being, and this is something that a lot of people have to understand, is that college basketball, when it comes to big names outside of women's basketball, which is crazy to say. There's not a lot of big names to follow, right? Like if you was to think right now with this upcoming basketball season, who are the names in college basketball that people are gonna be like, yo, like who? You see what I'm saying? A lot of the best players, they're literally going to play for like the um in the uh the elite, right? You know, those developmental leagues now, or they're going overseas, like LaMelo Ball did, or, or like all those like the couple of players that got drafted, they were playing for the Unite in the um NBDL. Right, so at the end of the day, it's very difficult to really try to get that big of a draw, okay? So just keep that in mind. There's not a lot of big names. So that's why I said, maybe a small section, you got the you got the W and then right under that, you got like college basketball, just like a, a spinoff, right? Now to me, I think that's just kind of like BS. I don't think that's really the best way to go about it, but 2K already has done that, so that's an option, okay? Option two is 2K goes all out, all right? 2K goes all out and makes another college hoops 2K 25, 26, 27, or whatever it is, right? Now, by them doing that, they already have a filler system when it comes to 2K's already the biggest basketball game out there. EA cannot compete with them. So they will just go ahead 
and build off that just like how it was in 2k hoops you could literally have the draft class merge right over into the nba i think that would be so freaking fun keep it the same way let that college basketball atmosphere and the way the game's played keep it just like it was back in the day a more faster more arcadey just i felt like that's what made a big difference between the college sports and the um 2k game so to me i feel like if they were to go all out that would be the route they, they would have to do they already got fifa they already have golf they already have tennis right they got they don't have they don't have that ncaa money they don't have that ncaa they're not part of that they're not playing in that right now right ea is so 2k can be like you know what let's go ahead and bring back the game the college basketball game and again probably be, be more so focused on if 2k um, if um ncaa football does really well which i really think it's gonna do really well it's probably gonna outsell even madden so um i think that could be the option now those are basically the two options 2k has i think they can either just have like a subdivision of it like they do with the w or they go all out now for ea this is huge for ea right and i want y'all to hear me out here check this out they got ncaa football that does really well it's gonna do really well like we can all assume it's gonna it's gonna absolutely crush especially the game's good you got everybody eyes on the game right so let's say for instance ncaa college football um, 25 does really well for um 25 going into 26 let's say for instance they go they come back to those same colleges those same colleges and say because remember they're giving like players for their name and likeness for college for in football more football's huge they're giving them like, I can't remember, it was like, what, $500, $800? You see what I'm saying? So, and now you gotta talk about like people in basketball, like these guys, ain't nobody knowing them, bro. Like no one's gonna know these guys. So again, if they were to give them 500, okay, maybe, but maybe it's $300, who knows? Like, because now these players gotta understand, it's like, yo, like at the end of the day, you're not as big as the football players that are playing in Alabama. Like their names are bigger. Like football is just way much bigger. So what I'm saying is that, and again, I'm talking out the side of my ass here, right it's just my opinion and, and like i said opinions are like assholes everybody has one right but what i'm saying is is that ea could then in exchange since, since they already have the template of getting the nil deals just go to the same exact person that or for at, at each university and say hey now we want to add on you know an additional 15 players right 15 players they went from the college football to you have like damn near you can have up to 80 people on the roster scholarship players 80 and then turn on basketball you can you just have 15. so not each university you just add 15 additional players right get little timmy and those guys hell me, me, i ain't gonna lie like most teams are only gonna have three players that might even be stars enough like to, to be able to get like 800 dollars or 500 dollars for the name and likeness but break that deal out and now here's the other big part about it you failed in nba you can't compete with 2k but hop on it you're already successful in college football hop on it while it's hot and go ahead and bring back ncaa 10 right i think that's the last one they had right was it ncaa 10 or something like that uh i can't remember what it is ncaa basketball 10 if i'm not mistaken i think that's the one that had um what's my man's name um you know i'm talking about man blake griffin on the cover so you bring back that you already have like i said the template already laid, laid out for ea sports for um football just go to them same people get them to, to add 15 additional players get their name and likeness make a killer game and you have no one to compete with you're now by yourself when it comes to your area you don't have to worry about 2k making a college game it's going to be you you're not competing against nba i mean 2k um nba 2k no more you just have your own ncaa basketball game and i guarantee you if ea makes a college basketball game people are going to run to it and play it why because it's not in it's not nba 2k so a lot of people are not worrying about trying to compare you know nba live to 2k because there's no comp comparison but if you're the only console in the market ncaa basketball 25 or 20 26 27 you're the only college basketball game in the market people are going to buy it just like nba 2k is the only basketball game for professional basketball in the market that's why people buy it regardless if it's good or bad so ea sports can literally make a basketball game that's decent hell they can make they can work off nba live 19's um um data you know work it up a little bit fix it whatever you want to do and then from there have a decent basketball game make sure it's recruiting just as you already got the template for it for the football game use that same template for the basketball for recruiting and all that type of deal 
to me, it makes sense. It makes more sense for NCAA, for EA Sports to make it because then, I mean, they'll be the only team in the market that have to compete with um, NBA 2K. Y'all let me know in the comment sections about that. But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Jimmy. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.